morning students uh, welcome all of you to the oral medicine lecture class today we will discuss about red and white lesions of oral cavity today we will discuss the classification of red and white lesions in the oral cavity this is a very important uh, topic for a final year student uh, for your exam point of view and for your uh, practical knowledge so before going into a classification of red and white lesions first we will discuss about what is a lesion so what are the different types of lesions so what is a lesion a lesion is an any tissue or organ which is suffered by an injury is known as a lesion so basically we have two types of lesion one is primary lesion and second is secondary lesion so the primary lesions are the lesions which occur first and the secondary lesions which occur after the primary lesions so now we will discuss the examples of primary lesions and secondary lesions so this primary lesion and secondary lesion the examples of primary lesions and secondary lesions are important viva questions for your practical examinations so what are the examples of primary lesions so the examples of primary lesions which includes macule papule pla continuous and the secondary lesions examples which includes ulcers and erosions so in practical exam the examiner will detail they will ask what are the definition of macule papule nodule pustule ulcer erosion and all these things and we have already discussed all these definitions of all these terminologies in the previous chapter so here i am not going to discuss all those definitions so here just an introduction of what is a lesion what are the primary lesions and what are the secondary lesions so apart from this uh, primary lesions and secondary lesions the red lesions and white lesions the name such as given as just because of ease of diagnosis or the clinical diagnosis of these lesions so some lesions are appear as red and some lesions which appear as white so why we have a red lesion in the oral cavity and why we have a white lesion in the oral cavity so before going into into classification of this uh, red and white lesions we should learn why we have a red lesion and why we have a white lesion in the oral cavity so the first reason for a white lesion in the oral cavity is that there will be a increased production of keratin and or there will be a abnormal thickening of stratum spinosum layer or there will be an accumulation of fluid between the epithelial layer or sometimes a necrosis of the epithelium or sometimes any fungal infection in adherence to the any infectious agent will produce a white lesion in the oral cavity so what are the reasons which produce a red lesions in the oral cavity so the red lesion reason for the oral cavity are either a reduced number of epithelial cells or an increased vascularization so it's very simple in white lesion the reason is increased production of keratin or abnormal thickening of spinosum spinosum layer we have the stratum corneum stratum basilum stratum spinosum we have different layer of epithelium so there will be an ab abnormal thickening in the stratum spinosum layer so which is known as acanthosis that is the reason for a white lesion where whereas in red lesion there will be a reduced number of epithelial cells which is termed as acantholysis so acanthosis is the term which is for white lesion and acantholysis which is therefore red lesions now we will move on to the different classifications for red and white lesions so the basic classification depends upon the etiological classification for red and white lesions are we have six different types of classification one is normal variant and genetically linked with keratotic lesions and infectious lesions post inflammatory lesions pre malignant lesions and pre malignant conditions so <coughs> what are the normal variations excuse me 
the normal variations which includes leukoedema four days granule and linear alba baccalis all of us all of you know that the linear alba baccalis four days granule all these are the normal variation which doesn't require any type of treatment or biopsy and the second group of disease classification is genetically linked with keratotic lesions the examples for this genetically linked keratotic lesions are white sponge nevus benign intra epithelial disceratosis and panchocia congenita and there are some infectious agent which produce red or white lesions examples are syphilis candidiasis and bacterial stomatitis next the post inflammatory lesions which includes a traumatic keratosis mechanical trauma or thermal burn chemical burn all this appears as a white lesions in the oral cavity so all these disease are categorized under post inflammatory white lesion because you have an inflammation like chemical or thermal burns and another condition another category of disease classification is that pre malignant lesions and contusions and all of you know what is a pre malignant lesion and pre malignant contusion pre malignant lesions mean these are the lesions in which cancer is more likely to occur and the pre malignant contusions are the contusions of a generalized state of your disease okay so examples of pre malignant lesions are leukoplakia like in planus like in old reactions erythroplakia discoid lupus erythematosus and 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 so on the list will so on but you have so as an exam point of view you have to write of four or five different types of diseases okay then the pre malignant contusions examples are oral submucous fibrosis discaratosis congenita and so on and another important classification is burger classification this is very easy classification and the burger classification includes these are the types of burger classification the first one is infectious disease the previous etiological classification also we have studied the infectious diseases so what are the infectious diseases this is candidiasis and leukoplakia then pre malignant lesions and contusions the leukoplakia erythroplakia submucous fibrosis all these comes under this pre malignant lesions and contusions and another third category is immunopathological disorders which the diseases comes under this categories are your lichen planus drug induced lichen node reactions graft versus host disease and lupus erythematosus and allergic reactions which includes lichenoid contact reactions and reactions to toothbrush and chlorhexidine not toothbrush and reactions to toothpaste and dyphrase and chlorhexidine and toxic reactions like those who are using uh, tobacco smoking uh, smokeless tobacco and smokeless palate smokeless palate smoke uh, there for all the smokers and uh, some people use uh, ruvo smoking that means the lighted end of a cigarette will be there inside the mouth so such type of smoking habit will produce a lot of toxic reactions to the oral cavity and reactions to mechanical trauma this comes under your linear alba baccalis and morsicacea all these things comes under the reactions of mechanical trauma and other red and white lesions which includes in this category are benign migratory glossitis is also termed, termed as geographic tongue and leukoedema white sponge nevus and hairy tongue and another uh, simple classification for uh, white and red lesion which is that whether it is scrapable or non scrapable so all white lesions are non scrapable uh, which include the non scrapable white lesions includes your linear alba baccalis frictional keratosis your leukoplakia like in planus all these diseases are not easily scrapable then what are the lesions which can easily scrape it off uh, whereas your chemical burn thermal burn in such conditions you will have a white patch which can easily scrape it off and your pseudomembranous candidiasis you can easily scrape it off that's why it is known as oral thrush it has a pseudomembrane so it can easily scrape it off from the 
uh, oral cavity. So you can please uh, note that only pseudomembranous candidiasis you can scrape it off, not your uh, erythro, so not, not erythroplakia, not your uh, hyperplastic candidiasis. Hyperplastic candidiasis is not easily scrape it off, only your pseudomembranous candidiasis are easily scrape it off. Okay. Uh, this is all about uh, the classification of uh, red and white lesions and thank you so much.